The reaction to Mohammed Brahmi's death was swift. The man they mourn was a prominent member of Tunisia's secular opposition. He represented the city of Sidi Bouzid, where Tunisia's uprising began and which sparked the Arab Spring. His death is viewed by many as an attack on the democratic freedoms they fought and died for in the revolution. What happened today will not become a way of life. It will not divide us. We will resist this. The consequences of division are grave. We need a permanent and radical solution, but with consensus and quickly so that we avoid divisions. Mohammed Brahmi was killed outside his house in the capital, Tunis, reportedly gunned down in front of his wife and children. He was a member of the Nationalist and Secular Popular Movement Party and involved in drafting a new constitution for Tunisia, a process full of difficulties, many along religious lines. It's due to be voted on in the coming weeks. <laughs> The criminals know that we are in the last minutes of our transformation to a democracy. The constitution is almost finished. Elections are around the corner. Their goals are known, destabilizing the country, intimidating the people, and painting us as a failed state. I appreciate the amount of grief and sorrow, yet we should listen to the voice of reason. We will salvage our country and take our country forward. Brahmi is the second secular opposition politician to be assassinated this year. Shokri Belaid was killed in February. Both men were part of the same opposition coalition, and both were vocal critics of the ruling coalition led by the religious party in Nahda. In a statement, Nahda condemned Brahmi's murder. It called on the government and the interior ministry to urgently arrest those who committed this crime and reveal those who have targeted the stability of the country. Belide's death in February triggered the worst violence in Tunisia since former President Zinay al Abidin bin Ali was removed in 2011. The political crisis that followed led to the Prime Minister's resignation. The volatility and speed of these demonstrations will be cause for concern for Tunisia's ruling coalition. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.